years ago, coming home from dinner, my wife and I were going down the road and I was driving, just talking and having a good time and I wasn't really paying attention. And I thought I was doing the speed limit. I thought I was driving the right speed and eventually I look up and look in the rear view and the flashing lights are behind me and a law enforcement officer pulled me over. And he asked me when he rolled down the window that classic question, sir, do you know how fast you were going? And I said, well, yes, sir. I had the, the cruise control set to 55. And, and he said, well, the speed limit is 35. And I said, well, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I wasn't doing it on purpose. I didn't know, I didn't see the sign of the speed limit changed. Well, he said, Mr. Johnson, I, I'm sorry, but you not knowing it doesn't change the fact that you were doing it. And he could have been a whole lot worse, but he, he wrote me a ticket and I had to pay about $300. And at the time, you know, our family really didn't have $300 to spare. And I really beat myself up about that for a long time. I was feeling so terrible that I cost our family that money and, and I was foolish that I'm a better driver than that. And I should have known, and I should have been paying attention. And I played the woulda, coulda, shoulda game. You see, I was judging my past self with my present wisdom. And that's not fair. I didn't know. Now, was there a price to pay? Absolutely. But as time went on, I made more money. Thankfully, that, that ticket didn't really impact my driving record. I still have my driver's license. And more than that, I learned a lesson that now when I see that area and I drive through that area, I now know what the speed limit is. So I changed how I drive, that I now change my behavior and do the right thing now, that now I know. And as the great TV show G.I. Joe said back in the 80s, knowing is half the battle. So what does this mean? Well, guys, we've got to quit judging our past self with our present wisdom. It's not fair. It's not fair to judge your past self with your present wisdom because you know now what you didn't know then. You're wiser now, you're more experienced now, you're older now than you were then. And so that means you know better now. And sadly, what do we end up doing? Man, we end up beating ourselves up over and over again for the past and we hold ourselves accountable. Now, are there ripple effects of our actions? Oh, you better believe it that if I rob a bank and I get arrested and God forgives me, well, I'm probably still going to jail. <laughs> if I, you know, don't declare my taxes the right way in order to save some money and I get caught, well, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to pay that money back. For that speeding I was doing, there was a ticket that had to be paid. Even though God forgave me and I eventually learned to forgive myself, there were still consequences. So what do we do? Man, we learn from the past, we plan for the future, but we live here in the present. How do we do that? We do that by doing the, the fair thing. It is not fair to judge your past self with your present wisdom. And the Apostle Paul writes so powerfully about that in his letter to the church community in Philippi. We call that the book of Corinthians and then the book of Philippians, excuse me. He writes this in the book of Philippians chapter 3, starting in verse 12, Paul writes, I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things, or that I've already reached perfection but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ first possessed me. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. You see, Paul recognized this principle that it was unfair to judge his past self with his present wisdom. In another passage, Paul talks about all the evil things he used to do, thinking he was doing good things. But he stopped beating himself up over that. He said, all those things I used to care about, now I don't care. He said, I, I think about them like garbage. That he does not beat himself up. He no longer judges his past self with his present wisdom. He moves on and says, okay, that was in the past. Now I've learned something different, and now I live different. So what does that mean for you and me? Guys, we got to quit judging our past self with our present wisdom. Stop beating yourself up, holding yourself to that unfair standard, living in shame for things that, that Jesus paid for. My, my buddy Jackie Watts says it this way, quit living for what Christ died for. You and I have been set free. So let's do that in our lives today. Learn from the past, but don't live there. Move forward, forget the past, that, like Paul said, the, meaning that, that we don't pay attention to those old things and hold ourselves to it. Now we live in the new, the new life God has called us to pressing forward for the kingdom. 
So quit judging your past self with your present wisdom. It's not fair. And hey, if the scripture gives us that model, man, we should follow it. So let's do that today. Let's decide to quit judging our past self with our present wisdom. That's not fair. Let's live here in the present today and press forward for the kingdom. So until next time, be blessed.